Almost 50% of Americans own a smartphone. They may look cheap when you buy it, but if you lose it, your phone company makes you pay a full price, and that can cost at least $650. Actually, I didn't know I had lost it and maybe within 10 minutes after exiting the train, uh, I realized I didn't have it and I knew it would be a total loss. Uh, at least that my, my initial thinking was that, you know, it's a lost cause. Craig Bowden lost his phone on the T. He is an unemployed social worker. Replacing his phone was simply unaffordable. Bowden is one of the thousands of people who have lost their cell phones in buses, trains and taxis. The Internet is full of demands for phones left in cabs. Why do you think they do this? I don't know. Sometimes they just forget their phone in their uh, back seat. Taxi driver Charles Casimir finds at least one phone every night, especially on Friday nights. Just put a new pocket. Don't try when you pay the cab driver, don't keep your phone in your hand. If you keep your phone in your hand, you get there just and forget in the back seat. Some drivers try to contact oblivious customers. Casimir says he calls the Boston police. If the customer doesn't call to retrieve the phone by the end of the day, um, it all goes to the central lost and found. If you have left your phone on T, this is where it end up. The MBT lost and found fills up this box with cell phones every couple of weeks. Two to five cell phones might get lost in a day. A lot of phones are um, lost like on Friday nights, um, sometimes on um, Monday mornings, um, holidays like um, or like parades where people uh, lose phones and, and stuff like that. The lost and found keeps lost phones in the safe for 30 days. Then the phone goes to the shelf for six months. If the owner doesn't show up, it is usually donated. So the MBT is waiting for your call. At that time, then we really, you know, use our investigative skills and ask them, well, you know, what kind of phone is it? What color is it? Is it in the case? What line did you lose it on? And then we tell them if we do have a phone, we tell them to bring down their charger so we can plug it in and have, then we have them call the phone and then that way we know it's theirs. Craig Bowden thought he would never see his phone again, but he was lucky. This lady just called me and she said she turned it into the lost and found at the JFK UMass tea stop. And I did go over, I had to, you know, uh, present identification, but um, the gentleman was happy to turn my phone over to me. People spend a lot of time putting personal information and photos on their phones. And if you have Android or iPhone and you use it properly, your data will be automatically saved. I'm Katya Bulkina, Boston Chatter.